Oh. Ooh. Dominoes. Oh, good. Medium pie, ten wings. Is the blue cheese dressing in there? Thanks a lot. Have a good one. What? What it is, guys? Well, Blasphemous HD. I'm very excited because I'm finally about to have my first fight. I haven't been hit in the face in years, so it's gonna be great. This is gonna be a five fight card, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be kind of ratchet, <laughs> but still good. It's gonna be on December 2nd. I'm more excited for this than I am uh, for other stuff. <laughs> of the lady variety, you know what I'm saying? But yo, with that being said, you guys have sent me a Family Guy Try Not The Lab Challenge made up of Dr. Hartman and Principal Shepard. Let's do this. I now declare this hair transplant officially over. That's racist. Oh, God. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, he's back. You look great, Quagmire. Oh. Oh, my God. One of my patients on two has been shot. Oh, what did he get shot with? What happened? Well, Mr. Griffin, the bandages are ready to come off. That's but good. I think I should tell you it's a miracle that you're alive at all. Oh. We did all we can, but medical science has come just so far. <laughs> Ooh, ah. shit. And now I will take off this protective potato head. Oh, God, mask. it's Monique. Oh. You know, when you talk, you sound a lot like my father in law, Cat Putishmit. Oh, that's funny. He's a patient of mine. Here's my urine sample, Doctor. Thank you, Mr. Peter Schmidt. Oh, hi, Peter. You know, Peter says we sound alike. Really? I don't hear it. Actually, I think I do hear it now. Really? Yeah, you know, we've never really had any extended interaction, so I've never noticed it. Hey, I think I hear it too. Seems lazy, doesn't it? Well, there's only so many voices in the world. Some of them are bound to be similar. Whoa, you're alive? What happened? Did I have a heart attack? No, you had a panic attack. Or in medical terms, a heart attack for wussies. Hey, we have a bet going. Do you remember if you put your wrist to your forehead like a Nancy boy when you fainted? I choose oh. not to answer. Peter, you need to get your stress under control. I'm texting you a link to a collection of songs called Yacht Rock. Anytime I'm feeling stressed, I play this music and it really mellows me out. I think it'll work for you. Well, what is that? Is that like... No, no, it's more like... Oh, good, it's... My catchphrase is herf derf? Hey, do you know where I could find any books about, um, the pang crease? I don't know, I didn't read oh. the whole Wikipedia entry, but the good news is that what he has is highly treatable. With radiation first, and if necessary, chemotherapy. What did he have? Tips? Oh, <coughs> oh for God's oh. sake. Look, do you have any idea how expensive medical school is? Very expensive. No, I don't. Well, it's probably pretty expensive. Very expensive. Give the money. Give what do you mean probably? Doc, how long do I have? Mr. Griffin, I'd say you have about a month to live. <laughs> but hey, what the hell do I know? I've been I've been sued by every patient I ever had. <laughs> Look at the size of this file. This is this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, uh, let's just wait for the test results. It's a little doctor humor. Hello. Oh, hi, Doctor Hartman. Mrs. Griffin, I have some good news. Turns out your son is going to be normal height. I read his chart wrong yesterday. Apparently, I have something called dyslexia. Be cool, be quiet, be quiet. Motherfucker. <laughs> ah! All right, well, nothing to worry about. Chris is going to be just fine. What? <laughs> you dirty mo- ah! He's right in here, sir. Just tell the disorderly when you're ready to leave. Uh, don't, don't you mean the orderly? No, I mean the disorderly. That's a little doctor joke we like to make around here. We also like Kevin Pollock. Okay, next is the Brown family. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I write descriptions of my patients to help me remember them. Oh. No, it's okay. Our last name is Brown. Oh, okay. Phew. Ah, then this must be Chubster Dum Dum. I'm sorry, sir. No visitors. Excuse me. I'll have you know I'm the shooter. So, uh, how's he... Calm down! I want this racist out the room, and I want him arrested. Racist? I put these gloves on for everybody. Oh, oh, you're talking to him. Oh. Hey, in case you need it, someone left this business card at the crash site. Looks like there's a new squirrel in the insurance game. I don't care about that, Dr. Hartman. Just tell me what's wrong with my husband. I'm sorry, Mrs. Griffin, but your husband is in a coma. Oh, my God. 
that. And to deliver the news to your teenage children, I've hired an EDM DJ. Your father's in a coma, 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 coma. He's gonna Nick. die. This is awesome. You dirty motherfucker! I playing in an H and M, and I got his number. That's right. The procedure would. Kill what type of terrible shit? <laughs> your father's in a coma. Now, just relax, Mr. Swanson, and let the anesthetic die. do its job. All right, Doc, I trust you. Good. Now I'll just pop in the how-to video, and we'll get started. What? Hi, I'm Jamie Farr, <laughs> and you're about to perform leg surgery. No! <laughs> so how's this work? You just feel my pulse? What? Ah! 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 <sighs> what the hell was that? Mr. Griffin, that's a prostate exam. Shut up! You had your finger in my ass! That's how a prostate exam is performed. Now, if you'll just let me... Get away from me! <laughs> Mrs. Griffin, I have some good news or some bad news, depending on how you feel about your husband. Do you love your husband? Yes! Mrs. Griffin, I have some bad news. Your oh. husband is brain dead. I'm afraid it's oh. time for you to... He brain dead? ...make your choice. What? Are you Make telling me I should pull the plug? I'm afraid so. Also, you might be getting a call about the service you received here today. Do you feel I've earned all tens? Oh, God, I, I don't know. I can't get anything less than a ten, so if there's a problem, you should tell me about it right now. I may have to pull the plug on my husband. Yeah, I, I can't do anything about that, but really, we, we really, really, really need the tens. It's two minutes for you, it's a job or not for me. <laughs> Hello? Really? Really need six. the tins. Yes, yeah, six across the board. Ah, nuts. Oh. I think I can hear the ocean. Smell it, too. Oh! oh. All right, let's see what we have here. Nigga. Oh, the baby's crowning. Oh! All right, I'm just going to put on a pair of gloves and we'll deliver this baby. You can't These stare. These don't feel like gloves at all. You can't stare directly like into needles. a vagina. But this is where I always keep the gloves. You're not supposed to smell. Well, maybe if I dig deeper. You know what I mean? Nope, the vagina. Just feels You're like not. More needles. Don't. Well, that's the craziest thing. Not if she's giving oh, birth. Oh, now I'm sure this isn't the glove drawer. Oh, oh, oh. my God. Who's going to deliver my baby? Honey, oh. you... Who's delivering it? Dr. Hartman, please tell me. Is my husband going to be all right? Why is uh, he Cancun, black? Cancun, actually. Thanks for asking. Just is he got black? Back. Mrs. Griffin, I'm afraid all the toxic chemicals your husband ingested from his homemade energy drink have caused total kidney failure. Homemade energy drink? Why was he black? Mrs. He Griffin, was, he's I'm white again. never walk again. Without remembering how lucky he is that he'll only be in this wheelchair for two weeks. That leg should heal up just fine. Peter, and to think I actually thought you raped me. Well, I was going to, but you ran out of the room. Mother! What? Ah! This doesn't look very good. Oh, this doesn't look very good at all. <laughs> my, my nephew drew my portrait. It doesn't look a thing like me. I mean, look at the nose. It's all... It's Will all you the... just tell us about Peter's ah! test? Okay, okay. Mr. Griffin, ah! all your tests came back negative. As it turns out, the lump on your chest was just a fatty corpuscle. Fatty corpuscle? Wait a minute. How the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? Dr. Hartman, is Peter gonna be okay? Ugh, if one more person asks me about a patient today, I'm gonna scream. Oh. Sorry, I just prefer to do number two at home. Where were we? It's Stewie, Dr. Hartman. He's having trouble focusing at school. Ah, yes. So you're telling me your baby won't sit still in a way that's convenient for his teacher? Yes. I'd heard stories, but never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Mrs. Griffin, I'm going to write Stewie a prescription for ADHD medication. Really? Well, I don't know. Doesn't that stuff make you wired? Well, if you're low energy and lethargic, yes. But if you're high energy, it actually calms you down and helps you focus. At least that's what I'm reading on WebMD. Wow, there are a lot of different kinds of medicines. There's a cat in here. Okay, oh. I guess we can give it a try. There you go. Now, who's this little guy? Clear! No, you do stuff up here. Clear! Clear! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Clear! 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 Hey. No, that's the good sound. Oh, well, why don't you just do everything? Hate this stupid hospital. 
Oh, thank you so much for coming in early, Dr. Hartman. Oh, no problem. Hell, I used to work here. What? Uh, how about now? Nope, nothing. Well, that makes me feel much better. You can't see the spaceship either. My cousin Marshall insists if you look past the picture, you can see a spaceship. Can you please just tell us what's wrong Mr. with Mr. Griffin, I'm gonna need to ask you a few questions. Do you think I can jump and touch that pipe up there? I don't know. The hell I can't! There, got it. Yeah, I guess your fingertips grazed it. Yeah, that counts as a don't. Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I'm afraid your coma's in a daughter. <laughs> I mean, I mean, your daughter's in a coma. What? Oh my God! Did you did you hear what I said? Uh, brain freeze! <laughs> oh my God! Oh, that one is going in the Christmas letter. My husband is in a coma. I'm afraid so. I mean, he's not responding to my advances, so it's either a coma or he's a frigid bitch. Oh! Hey, want to see something? Check out how hot my last patient was. Definitely a oh, frigid bitch. They look fake. Yeah, who cares? Super okay. frigid. Okay. According to this projection, Stewie's adult height will be five foot one. What? Five foot one? Wow, Dr. Hartman, that's really short. I mean, I suppose it's fine if he's going to die at 14. Is, is there anything on there about that? Well, we learned in medical school that the short ones do go faster because they smell more farts than the rest of us. This is terrible. I can't be short. Yes, I'd like a chocolate chip cookie. Elmer? What, Mom? You promised I could get a cookie if I finished all my surgery. Did you? Yeah. All of it? Um... Get back there! I'm gonna do it. What does it matter when I do it? Oh, Dr. Hartman, thank you for coming. Well, actually, I'm Dr. Hartman's son. Dr. Hartman's son? But I asked for Dr. Hartman. His jokes are getting worse, Doctor. Is there anything you can do for him? Oh... Oh! Now all we can do is wait. You guys, I've been trying to keep my birthday a secret. No, Dr. Hartman, we're not here for your birthday. We're here for Joe. Don't sugarcoat it, Doc. Just give it to me straight. Well, Mr. Swanson, I did an exploratory procedure which revealed extensive damage. Please just tell me. Am I completely paralyzed? I'm afraid of ghosts. And yes, Mr. Swanson has lost all movement and will require around-the-clock care. Most of it disgusting. Oh, my God. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do. There actually is. I'm afraid. Could you collect my mail forever? I'm leaving Joe and moving to Europe. I didn't sign up for this. Bonnie, wait. God, this is awful. What am I going to do? Well, seems like you folks have this all taken care of. Surprise! Oh, you guys! Hey, don't go in that room back there. It's, like, super sad. Mr. Swanson, through the magic of digital imaging, we'll select the legs most suited to your body from our inventory of donors. Oh, black people, fish people, wood people, bird people, horse people. Hey, what about Regular these? People. Ah, good choice. These are the only ones we have in stock that aren't hilarious. All right, empty school. Time to shining my way through the halls. Oh. Yo, that looks actually pretty lit. That looks kind of fun. Principal was... Shepard, where is everyone? That's not even funny, Principal man. Principal Shepard's not here, Miss Griffin. Now you Why are tripping. you talking like that? Sorry, that was Tony, the little boy who lives in my mouth. Why are you here? It's skip day. It's Why is there a little boy living Nobody in your mouth? Me. She's unpopular and unattractive. Tony? What? Oh, you can go ass whoop! Damn! 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 Go, go, Principal Coffee Breath. <sighs> Motherfucker, what? <gasps> Looking for someone? Hey, Captain America! I like this episode. <laughs> Now you silver surfer. Students, okay. faculty, and staff of James Woods High. Does anyone know how to push down the back seat of a Highlander? I know I can make a bed in there, I just don't know how. <laughs> oh my god, Principal Shepard, what's wrong? I just listened to two hours of butt-dialed sex between my wife and the ADT alarm guy. Why didn't you just hang up? Because I missed the sound of her voice! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Principal Shepard, your wife is on the line. She says, uh, uh, oh god, Actors on stage! I think you mean company positions! 
Now, this is the scene where Mercutio warns Romeo about Juliet's angry brother, Tybalt. Who's playing Mercutio? A uh, 10-ounce bone-in ribeye. Word? What the... They actually look delicious. Man, Ruth's Chris really has their hooks in this thing. Okay, Chris, move to the right. Stage left. Heather, come forward. Down stage. And to the right. Stage left. Back up, Chris. Up stage, Chris. Stop. Stage go. Am I scared of Tybalt? Yes, but Juliet can't know. I'm going to build on that, if I may. Ignore that direction, Chris. No, Chris, follow the emotion and take it further. Great note. Chris, don't listen to the note. Take it further. Of course, absolutely take it further, but in the opposite direction. Who's in charge here? I'm starting to wonder that myself. If you're trying to drive me out of my own production, you've got another... Hope my first response on Farmers Only. A divorcee in Ohio wants to show me her sheer Lane Bryant teddy. Fine, the show's yours. Oh, hi, you guys. How was school? Honestly, Mom, today was kind of weird. Every kid in school had to write a list of five reasons Principal Shepard is cool and then have their parents sign it. What? Well, that seems crazy. One time I saw him pee in a urinal with his hands on his hips. That's pretty boss. Boys, I got a new home gym. Why are you telling us that? Just letting people know. Don't want anyone to get freaked out by the transformation. You really think Meg is college material, Principal Shepard? Yeah, no. she's a solid yeah. B student. And that's quite an accomplishment, considering none of her teachers are willing to sleep with her. Sophomore year, she was molested by the janitor. Does that help? <laughs> Mr. Griffin, I believe they're called custodians. Oh. Ooh. Dominoes. Oh, good. Medium pie, ten wings. Is the blue cheese dressing in there? Thanks a lot. Have a good one. What? Mm. What? Oh, wow. oh, <laughs> what in God's name? Mr. Lazenby, what the hell's going on here? Apparently, there's some law against teaching the evolutionary theory that Gil Gerard used a time machine, went back, and ejaculated into the primordial ooze. This stupid country. First off, we have a new rule. No more asking the gym teachers if they went to college. They did not. Is this about Chris? We know he's been struggling lately. Well, let me put it this way. Parents of a failing student say what? What? No, Peter, wait! Nope, too late. He said it. I'm marking it. Didn't get the woos. They're very smart. Asian. Maybe they didn't understand me. I don't know. Hi, Meg. Hey, how's it going? My locker. Meg, I thought we were going to try to work on that. <laughs> Attention, students. Oh. This is Principal Shepard with the lunchtime announcements. And as a special treat, I thought I'd deliver them in the wrapping style you kids are so enthused about. Later today, you're going to have a big thrill, because shortly after lunch, there'll be a fire drill. And when you go out to wait for the bus, mm, go in orderly fashion, or your hair will get mussed. You suck! No, you suck. I can't hear you. I just presume somebody must have yelled, you suck. Anyway, last announcement. Don't forget, it's time to vote for homecoming king and queen. Nominations are due by 3 p.m. today. Peace out. No, you're a douchebag. Aw, oh, come on, it's me! Griffin! You don't get to talk like that anymore! Connie, the person who humiliated you has himself been humiliated. By the rules of high school, you are now popular again. You wanted to see me, Mrs. Griffin? Um, yes, to discuss the music program. Right, right, of course. Sorry, I was just testing these candles for a lie I can't think of right now. All right, now it's time for these four poor kids to thank you for subsidizing their lunches. Thank you. Mean it. Thank you. All right, time for my car nap. Go easy on me, Chris. My sister has MS. <laughs> I'm worried what you're going to do with her. I'm out. I'm not running. And neither is she. I knew you'd have something. Yeah, whoop her out. World star. Hit her. Hit her in the face. Good evening, fingerers and fingeries. Sorry, I had what? a little rum in the car. Your first speaker, Principal Shepard. Meg Griffin was an honest man, a kind man. A man who knew how... Oh, my stars. I have nothing. Uh, Good morning, students. First of all, woman? I don't care what the courts say. Let's thank the Christian God together. Could look you in the eye. Yeah, it's 
it's a work night. Woo! No. Hey, come on, get out of here. You're ruining my birthday party. Your skin makes me cry. Sing Justin Timberlake. Come on, I waited an hour and a half for this. God, there's like no one hot at this school this year. Okay, students, take your seats. Move along. Got to keep the hallway clear. This isn't because of my divorce. What the fuck? Good for him. He actually followed through. We can put your logo on anything. A mug, a set of pens, a mug. I, uh, I don't have a logo. Funny you should say that because our art department could whip you something up. Hmm, let's see. Peter, Peter. Penis? Let's just fire up Windows 98. You like that? Right on the mug? Uh, no, no, thank you. I got your mug, Peter. That'll be fifty nine ninety nine. I got a square here, so we can take care of the transaction in-house. I'd love to come work for you. You would? Well, that changes everything. I'm not gonna have sex with you. I know. I just farted. This is Principal Shepard with the morning announcements. Uh, Remember uh, that all wagers uh, on Friday's Meg Griffin slaughter must be on my desk by Thursday. What's your prediction, Clever Lang from Rocky 3? My prediction... Pain. Tell us what the lunch menu is, you dick! Oh, uh, meatloaf and tater tots. And by the way, I can stop being a dick. You can't stop being a Jew. This morning, Principal Shepard ah! wanted to say a few words. Thank you, Mrs. Abbott. Uh, before I start, are these the normal kids or kind of the dur dur ones? It's a healthy mix. So we're all decided our last ah! high school play was about as gay as we want to go. Let's try oh. to top out at that level of gay. No if there's gay. nothing no. else... There's still the agenda no item of you fat-shaming Chris Griffin. I think we can table that, as long as it's a pretty strong table. Okay, Chris, while you make these <laughs> announcements, I'm going to be massaging your shoulders, just Mega. so I can say in court that I do it to everyone. Chris, Don't touch here are the Mega. keys to the driver's ed car to use any time you want. <laughs> wow, cool! See, everyone? If I were using the driver's ed car for my real car, I wouldn't have given him the keys. That would be a psycho move. I wouldn't have a ride home. Chris, if you're heading home, can I get a ride? Kevlar vest. Kevlar vest. Hold on. Are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll be a starter next year. <laughs> then next year, you can have a vest. All right, never mind that. Just join me one step over here, yet out of earshot, so I can wrap your knuckles with a ruler. That's it! I want you out of our house right now! We are sick of you! What? You're kicking me out? Does everyone feel this way? Oui, absolument! Gerard Depardieu! Well, at least someone's been paying attention. But very well. I'll get out of your hair if you'll all just help me get my things out of the basement. Nigga! Y'all felt for this? He doesn't have his stuff down here. Dumbasses! Right. Until you all have better attitudes, you're in detention. But I do feel bad for leaving Principal Shepard all alone. Oh, you leave that to me. I may have one more clever scheme hidden up my sleeve. Oh! Oh my. <laughs> This may be one of my ocular migraines talking, but I see fireworks. Can I ask, is that licorice on your breath? Or is that just my licorice breath bouncing out of your mouth? Why don't you get in here and find out? Mm. <laughs> ah! Well, if it is, you're going to be suspended. Oh, no! Well, that weekend on the Cape with Principal Shepard was a waste. I know I said I wouldn't get clingy, but when can I see you again? Principal Shepard, what's it gonna take to get Meg into a college? If Meg has any chance at all, she's going to need a little extra help. Oh, we'll Breath do anything, implants. whatever it takes. Breath Good. Implants. Now you do understand how this works. She's like a whole lot we of... We understand. I guess I'll, uh... Mother... I'll meet you in the car. Hell no! I didn't no. mean you have to sleep with him. There are a few options. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, every college has spots set aside for athletic recruits. We can make Meg look like a star athlete. With what? the click of a button, we can make Meg look like she played varsity lacrosse, won the Quahog Marathon, or had her head rolled down a temple in Apocalypto. Whoa, 
hours. This is amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy Blast from Sage D. This mug made me laugh way more than most things have made me laugh in a minute. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe if you can. Come out to the fight. Twisms.